I just finished reading the last few chapters of the book of Acts again. What a thrilling story. Drama, intrigue, a courtroom scene that ends in an appeal to the Supreme Court of Rome, a harrowing journey across the Mediterranean Sea that ended in a shipwreck. Paul and his companions finally make it to Rome, and then the story just ends. No information about what happened. Did Paul ever have his day in court? Was he released? Did he languish in jail? No answers to all the questions. All we have left is a hodgepodge of tradition and speculation. You know, so often in the Bible, we only get part of the story and we're left to wonder about the conclusion. And if you're like me, you might ask, why does the Lord do that to us? Well, maybe he wants to remind you that he meets you in the middle of your own story. Right now, that story is taking place in the context of this pandemic. It feels like so much is up in the air. We've heard so many models and predictions that our heads spin. Many of them, for good or for ill, have proven totally inaccurate. And we still don't have a clue about what the future holds. All our plans are still tentative. And the Lord is good with that because he loves to join us in the middle of the mess and help us find ways to redeem it. Don't get paralyzed by a lack of uncertainty about the future. God is at work. He's most interested in how you respond to him today, regardless of your circumstance. Like me, you may wish you could know how it's all going to turn out. We need to be reminded our only touch with eternity is today. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow tempts us to get lost in worry. But today is an opportunity. Today I can trust the Lord. Today I can live in his grace. Today I can serve in his name. Today I can walk in faith. Today I can experience his presence. Today, I can practice joy. Today, I can live forgiven. As the Bible says in Psalm 118, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Or as Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 6, 2, I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. It's only natural to want to know the end of the story. But God doesn't deal in the natural. He deals in the supernatural. And he asks us to focus on what he wants to do in our lives today. Can you do that and leave the ending to him? I pray you'll be able to lay aside your desire to know how all this is going to turn out and just live with the Lord in the moment. If you can do that, you will experience his blessing.